A buffer is a solution that's resistant to changes in pH. And by definition, it is an application of the common ion effect. The text defines the common ion effect like this. To make a buffer, you need to start with a weak acid or a weak base. So for dealing with a weak acid or a weak base, that means we can establish an equilibrium. But you need more than just a weak acid or the weak base. You need a common ion. So in terms of acids and bases, if you start with a weak acid, you need to also have its conjugate base present. Or if you start with a weak base, you must also have its conjugate acid present. Now the problem we did previously with the sodium acetate and the acetic acid was a buffered solution. When you have acetic acid, the conjugate base is acetate. So by mixing both the acetic acid and the sodium acetate together, we made a buffered solution. The trick here is to calculate the pH of buffers. We did an example already where they were an equal molar acid and conjugate base. That was the acetic acid and the sodium acetate, and they both started out as one molar. When they're equal molar, we saw that the concentration of the hydrogen ion equals the Ka value. So if you want to find the pH, you take the negative log of the H plus and the negative log of the Ka value. So the pH will simply equal the pKa value. If you have an unbalanced amount of acid and base, well then you're going to have to multiply your Ka value by the concentration of the weak acid over the concentration of the conjugate base. If you plug this into a nice chart, you can see where these ratios come from. A more useful version of the same equation is called the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. And all we did was take the negative log of all of the terms. So if we take this statement here and take the negative log of all the terms, you end up with this statement. And this is an equation we're going to be using a lot. You might catch me calling it the Henderson-Hasselhoff equation. And I just want to be clear that it is not the Henderson-Hasselhoff equation. It is the Henderson-Hasselbach equation.